Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm filming two videos in one go here. So this is part one and uh, part two will come shortly. Uh, if you're watching this uh, after it's been done, then it's already up. But yeah, there's two parts of this video in essence. And what I'm doing today is I'm on some local high ground and I'm going to be testing two DMR radios. So one that I'm going to be testing is the Retavis RT3S. So this is a dual band uh, 5 watt DMR radio from um, Retavis. And I've also got the Radio Odyssey GD77S, which is a um, another DMR radio that Radio Odyssey have sent me. So what I usually do when I do range tests, I usually speak to somebody in a fixed location. Um, it's always usually at the same sort of distance. So I thought it'd be cool to come up onto some local high ground, put some calls out on DMR Simplex, and see if we can get a few stations coming back. Now, DMR Simplex in these parts is reasonably quiet, so I don't know if anyone's going to come back at all. If you're watching this video, then it was obviously a reasonable success. But yeah, I'm going to put some calls out on both radios, and uh, yeah, we'll just see what contacts we can get, look at what sort of distances we get and then we'll plot them on a map and we'll, uh, we'll sort of have a good, ind good indication of how far we're getting out from up here and uh, obviously if these DMR radios perform, which I'm fully expecting them to perform anyway. So I've got the radios with me, I've got my logbook with me, so I'm going to, I've set a sked, I, I put this out on Facebook on some of the amateur radio groups saying I'll be here at one o'clock, so it's five to one now, so in a minute I'm going to put some calls out and we'll see who comes back. Now, one thing I probably should point out, and people will comment saying, get out of the car, you'll go further. Um, yeah, that is true. Cars act like um, a bit of a cage because you're basically boxed in metal, but the windows all around this car are glass, obviously, and all of the roof is glass as well. And I've tested this with a friend of mine. He's like uh, 25 miles away, and it barely made, well, it didn't make any noticeable difference. So I'm going to sit in the car purely because this camera doesn't cope in the wind very well, and it's just easier to sit in the car. I've got the book rather than stand in front of the camera outside. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm sort of, I've got a good take off from here uh, and there's nothing between us other than this, you can't see it, but here's just the, the windscreen spar in the car. Like I say, all of the, all the roof is glass and it's actually open as well, so it, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't make any difference, but it is a good point. You do get better range and you, your signal does uh, radiate better if you're not sat inside a car, but like I say, this car is, is mostly glass, so it's not going to cause me any issues. I know that because I've tested it. Uh, so obviously uh, we're listening out to the NVHHY. Now, I've built obviously this is an NVQ portable. M3 HHY mobile. M3 HHY mobile calling DMR Simplex, standing by for any calls. M3 HHY mobile. Preview near the uh, Trevor Centre over. Yeah, the Trafford Centre station. I didn't didn't quite catch all that. I just got the the start of your call sign and then the uh, the bit that you were near the Trafford Centre. Do you want to try again? M three uh, H H Y mobile. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Call sign is Gulf Four Sierra Delta Lima S D O T for us on mobile. Um, yeah, located Davy Hume. Davy Hume, the opposite side of the motorway to the Trafford Centre, very close to the Trafford Centre there. And the name's Brian, over. Yeah, no problem at all, Brian. Uh, M3HHY, I got your call sign there. It's G4SDL uh, near Davy Hume. Uh, brilliant. Yeah, I'm in uh, Werneth Low. I was going to try some different high ground today, but I uh, just decided to play it safe and go to Werneth Low. Yeah, they named the size Lewis. And then my co whiskey, India Sierra. Uh, good to speak to you You're right, for the first time. Uh, back to you. Yeah, there's another station on there, I don't know if you're hearing him, um, at uh, Rishworth, M0NVQ, uh, do you want to give him a call, I don't know, he's, he's got you, he's on, um, on the site up at Rishworth somewhere. Yeah, Mike0MVQ, M3HHY, do you copy? Mike0HH, sorry, Mike 3 HHY Mike Zero, November Victor, Quebec. Yes, I'm on Grains Bar in Oldham. Um, I did drive up to Richmond to the microwave tower, but it didn't have line of sight for the Manchester city centre, so I've come back to Grains Bar, uh, which is on the um, Rippenden Road as you come out of Oldham from where the Tesco's other supermarkets are available. 
and you go up the hill there and uh, it's got a good view over the uh, Grange Bar uh, right down into the centre of Manchester. I'm at the trig point, so I can look up, Louis, I can look up the, uh, the Maidenhead locator for you when I get home. But yeah, we've also got M0 uh, KPH, Philip M0 KPH, who's in Bury, uh, who's come on. Uh, perhaps you want to speak to him. That's Philip on Mike Zero Kilo Popper Hotel. So back to you, Lewis, from Mike Zero November, Victor Quebec Possible. Yeah, Mike Zero November uh, Victor Quebec Portable M3 HHY Mobile. Yeah, no problem at all. You're absolutely cracking here up to uh, Werner's Low as you'd expect. Uh, I didn't quite catch the name. We have spoke before. I, I, I definitely recognise the call sign. Um, but yeah, I didn't. I didn't quite catch the name. I'll pass it back uh, to you just on that one, and then I'll uh, I'll send it over to um, to Phil uh, M0 MVQ Portable M3 HHY Mobile. HHY Mobile, Mike Zero, November, Victor, Quebec, Portable. Uh, yeah, the name's Robert. Robert, you do know me. Uh, I'm on your uh, YouTube subscribers list. Uh, and also, I'm the chairman of Rochdale and District Amateur Radio Society. And you want to you do know me. And you know Philip as well, M0 KPH, because he's the secretary of Rochdale and District Amateur Radio Society. So, uh, all good stuff. Uh, I don't know if you're videoing this, but uh, I hope, uh, hope you're videoing it. Uh, as well, I'll enjoy it twice. Uh, back to you, um, Lewis, and I think you're going to put a call out for Philip, aren't you? So, Mike Zero, November, Victor Quebec. Back to you, Phil. So, back, back to you, Lewis. Yeah, no problems. Yeah, um, okay, Rob. I thought I recognised the call sign. Yeah, it's uh, it's clicked to me now. I, yeah, I am filming. Uh, like I said, I'm just using the Retivis RT3S Romeo uh, Tango 3 Sierra. It's the dual band um, DMR set, so I've never actually used it before. So it seems to be doing okay. There was a little bit of packet loss towards the end there, but um, you know, considering we're, we're simplex, um, that's uh, to be expected. So not not bad at all there, uh, Rob. Okay, um, Phil. I'll pass it over to you. Um, I hope you can uh, you can hear me from up here. Mike Zero uh, Kilo Papa Hotel M three H H Y Mobile Six Golf Oscar Fox Portable. Yeah, Mike Six Golf um, Oscar Fox Portable. I think that was uh, you, Mark. Um, just uh, stand by. Uh, Philly receiving M Zero K P H M three H H Y Mobile. Rob, are you hearing Phil there? I'm not hearing him this side. Yes, I'm hearing Phil. Uh, yeah, I'm getting Phil. He's in the centre of Bury. Um, yeah, I, I'm getting it, no problem at all. Uh, I was just speaking to the uh, station manager there, uh, just pointing out the scenes on the horizon. Do you want to give Phil another try? Because I didn't. I, I was getting Phil clear, but I wasn't actually, uh, to be honest, listening to everybody what he said. But uh, perhaps I should have. But uh, give it another try, though. It's quite zero to remember this is quite possible. Yeah, okay, Rob. Uh, Phil, are you receiving me? Uh, Mike Zero, Kilo, Papa, Hotel, uh, M3, HHY, Mobile. Now, um, Phil, if you can hear me, I'm not, I'm not receiving you. Um, I'll just uh, pass it round to uh, Mark. I think it was Mark, Mike 6, Golf, Oscar, Foxtrot, Portable, uh, M3, HHY, Mobile. Yeah, Mike 6, Golf, Oscar, Foxtrot, Portable, receiving a loud and clear. Um, probably a decent 5 9 uh, signal over into. Uh Local location at Asher Speak and just outside of towns of Wigan and Smilsdale, Lewis. Can you tell? Yeah, no problem at all there, Mark. Uh, good to speak to you. It's been quite a while. Um, yeah, I'm on Wernerthlow, uh, in Hyde, just at the back of Stockport. Good to speak to you. You're coming through loud and clear the side as well. Um, Phil's there. I'm not sure if you heard him. Phil M0KPH in Berry. Uh, I can't hear him from, from where I am for some reason, even though I've got a reasonable... Um, view of Berry from, from here. Uh, but yeah, good to speak to you, Mark. I'll just pass it back to you with a pause for Phil, um, and just let me know if you uh, if you hear him. Uh, M6 GOF, Shoke P, M3 HHY Mobile. Mac Zero, Oscar Golf Golf, Mac Zero, Oscar Golf Golf, M3 HHY Mobile, you mentioned Chris. Yeah, um, uh, it's, 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 it's yeah, a little bit, Chris. M zero O G G. Are you at work? I take it, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in work, Lewis. I'm receiving you well. A good signal. Also receiving Rob M zero N V Q well as well. M zero O G G. 
Yeah, no, Chris, receiving you loud and clear now, uh, no problem at all. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few stations that's actually been on. So uh, G4SDL, Brian, uh, Trafford, uh, near Davy Hume, um, Rob, M0, MVQ. Uh, Phil's there, M0, KPH, but I'm not receiving him. And then there's Mark, M6, GOF, uh, Asher's Beacon. Yeah, it's not a bad uh, not a bad little turnout, this, is it? Uh, done DMR Simplex. Yeah, good to speak to you, Chris. I hope you're okay. I'm just, uh, like I said, in, on the Facebook post, just, just caught to some high ground, just to test the new radio out and see, see how well it's doing. It's doing alright as well. Um, considering one simplex, there's a little bit of noise with some stations, but others are coming through. Uh, fantastic. Uh, back to you, Chris. M zero O G G M three H H Y Mobile. Yeah, okay, Lewis. Well, this is uh, a small uh, voice call. Uh, I'm sorry about the noise. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, I can't hold it. I'm just gonna have a listen. Nice to speak to you. M zero O G G. Yeah, thanks very much for popping in, Chris. Appreciate it. 7-3 for now. Uh, any other stations uh, monitoring? M3, HHY Mobile, Werner Flow. No, nothing heard. Uh, G4SDL, are you still on frequency, Brian? Uh, I don't know what happened with anybody. I'm not hearing anybody else at the moment. Um, I've got to go. I've promised the uh, lady in the house that we'd go out, so I just wanted to call in and say, you know, it's a strong up, uh, up there, Lewis. And uh, so is Robert over at uh, Rishworth at uh, his location. Some of the others I've not heard. I can't hear the Berry one at all, but I've always, <laughs> traditionally, for 25 years, had a problem from here over to uh, to Berry anyway. Right, cheers for guys. Nice to see you all. I'll catch you again, maybe, on the repeater or whatever. G4 STL. Yeah, no problem at all, Brian. Um, very best 7-3. Thanks for uh, dropping on frequency. Much appreciated, and enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, we'll catch you further down the log. Uh, over to you, Rob, if you're still on frequency. Mac Zero MVQ. Uh, portable M3 HHY Mobile. M3 HHY Mobile, Mike Zero, November, Victor Quebec Portable. Hi, uh, there it is. Phil uh, was in the background there, M0 KPH. He's tried to, he's on foot uh, in the centre of Barry and he's tried to change location, but I uh, take it you didn't hear him. But yeah, as you're going well, I hope you're getting your video done. And uh, perhaps you should put a plug in for GP7MR, the uh, the uh, DMR repeater for North Manchester, uh, which is located in Barry. Uh, I don't know if you actually used it, Lewis, but uh, I would imagine you get that quite well. So back to you, Lewis, from Mike Zero, November, Victor Quebec, portable with a pause in case Phil can get in. Yeah, M3HHY, um, just, just with a pause, uh, I didn't hear anything from Rob, uh, so Rob, if you if you can hear me, which I'm assuming you can, apologies. Uh, yeah, I will do a plug for GB7MR, um, I, I can get into it, I've tried it once, um, just on the echo test, but I've not had a chance to, to properly um, get on there yet and, and give it a go, so I think uh, when we've wrapped up here, I might just have a call out on there and see, uh, see if we can... Um, Get hold of anybody, but yeah, it's definitely definitely a better signal um, from my home QTH than it was in its old location. So uh, definitely a positive there, um, which is good. Uh, right, are you still on frequency, um, Mark M6 uh, GOF Portable M3 HHY Mobile for the port for any other stations? Yeah, all copied. Mike Six Gold Fox Fox Rock Portal returning back to you. It's uh, going through uh, Friday over Helios over the Tasha speaking. Very decent signal. Uh, I have to say, the this new uh, transceiver they're using at the moment, uh, Lewis, it's uh, very nice, punchy, and uh, logical audio, and uh, it's absolutely screaming through over, over into this location, uh, Lewis. It's uh, doing an absolute blinder, uh, which is a radio that you're testing to yourself. Yeah, cheers Mark. It's the Retivis RT3S Romeo Tango 3 Sierra. It's a dual bander. This is very similar to the TYT MD380. It looks, well, it is identical um, physically, but uh, inside there's uh, some slight variations. But it, as I say, it is a dual bander. It seems to be working well. The receive audio on these TYT and Retivis um, radios is uh, is really good um, compared to some of the others I've used. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice little radio. It's the first time I've actually been on air properly with it. So it is uh, doing quite well. I've got another one that I'm going to test it. I'm going to actually switch over to in a minute. Um, and I'll pass it around again. The Radio Oddity GD77S. Um, so we'll see uh, We'll see how that one performs as well. But yeah, I'm really impressed with this one. Uh, your, your radio is sounding cracking as well, Mark. Really nice, punchy, sharp audio. Uh, nice and loud as well. So I'll pass it back to you. Just see which radio you're using. M6 GOF Portable N3HHY Mobile. 
like it's called Fosco Fosco Paul for return to Mike the Hotel Hotel Yankee Well, well yeah, it's uh, just using the TYT MD380 into a Diamond RH771 whip. Uh, I've just uh, stood in the middle of like a grass field next to a park bench, really, over at uh, this location of Ashurst Beacon, and uh, I'm hearing absolutely everybody perfectly fine, apart from the pedestrian mobile fella that was uh, dropping out a bit. Uh, I was actually switched on sort of halfway up here to the golf course. I was hearing bits and bobs of audio coming through on um, on Simplex as I was monitoring, sort of walking on the way up, and uh, there was like a whole gaggle of stations on. I was hearing more or less pretty much everybody over here. Yeah, it's uh, good to hear with the dual bander uh, retinus handset they mentioned, Lewis. Um, I definitely look forward to the video on that. It's uh, something that's sorely needed. Uh, Open mind swing like that myself, uh, a nice little handheld that covers both bands. Anyway, we're back to you, Lewis, and uh, let you find out some more stations knocking about in here. Mike 6, Golf, Oscar Fox, Portable to Mike the Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile. Go ahead. Yeah, no problem at all, uh, Mark. Well, yeah, if you like your MD380, you like this one, because it's, it's basically the same radio, but... Um, by Retivis with a, with a dual band um, feature on it, which is it's nice and handy. I, I should have actually thought ahead and programmed in some DMR simplex to VHF, but I suppose there's not a lot of people going to be on there at the moment because the majority of DMR radios are single band, aren't they, unfortunately. But, yeah, it's definitely one to test in the future, absolutely. Right, um, is there any other stations monitoring uh, on the frequency? M3 HHY Mobile, Werner Flow. Okay, nothing heard at this uh, this moment. Just stand by, uh, fellas. I'm just going to switch over to the other radio. Okay, guys, so that was a success there with the uh, Retivis RT3S. We had um, uh, Brian G4SDL in Trafford, uh, Rob M0MVQ in Oldham. Um, we had Phil M0KPH in Bury that I couldn't hear, but I was getting snippets of, uh, unfortunately. Um, we had M6GOF uh, at Ashurst Beacon. Um, that was Mark and we had uh, Chris M0 OGG in Manchester so uh, not bad there five stations so as you can see on the map a reasonable spread out and, and a good test no issues uh, whatsoever um, thanks to those stations for coming on uh, really do appreciate it um, it was uh, nice to, to catch you all nice to have a bit of a QSO uh, good to get some activity on DMR4 uh, DMR446 DMR simplex and um, it, it would be good if it was a more regular thing I think definitely something um, that I need to work on putting some more calls out and trying to drive some activity so yeah the uh, Retivis RT3S performed um, really well so happy with that um, stay tuned for part two where we'll look at the GD77 see how that performs as well and be a very similar video to this but I'm sure it's going to perform equally as well and uh, as I say just thanks to those stations that came on uh, if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you have any comments suggestions or um, questions Bother them in the box below. If you want to get hold of the Retivis RT3S, there's links in the description. And um, if you haven't already subscribed, then click the subscribe button. And uh, all that leaves me to say is 7-3, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.